It's an uncomfortable truth that we're vulnerable within the universe. It's a fact that asteroids approach the Earth every year. There's never a guarantee of total safety, and it's just a matter of sheer luck as to whether we're directly hit. If an object were 20 miles wide heading towards Earth, we'd have as little as 20 years warning. It's hoped that Earth's largest space agencies and scientists could combine forces to create missiles to destroy the asteroid before it reaches our atmosphere. However, the chance of this succeeding could be rather slim, and it'd be years before we could tell whether or not this strategy was successful. Therefore, it's likely that an alternative survival strategy would be formulated in the event of missiles failing to intercept the asteroid. We've been hit by a number of asteroids over the years. The evidence for this is in ancient craters which can be found all over our planet. Even in recent times, asteroids have caused extensive damage to our planet. One example of this is an asteroid 66 feet wide that exploded over a Russian region back in 2013. Reports indicated that the blast damaged about 7,000 buildings and injured around 1,500 people within the surrounding area. However, we're fortunate that massive apocalyptic collisions, such as the one that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs, are extraordinarily rare events. That doesn't say there isn't a risk. In April of 2018, the B612 Foundation reported, it's 100% certain we'll be hit by a devastating asteroid, but we're not certain of when. Scientists know that the hit from an asteroid within the asteroid belt is exceedingly unlikely. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at near-Earth objects that have come, or are due to come, close to the Earth in our future. The 2011 ES4 Asteroid 2011 ES4 is a near-Earth asteroid. Roughly 25 metres in diameter, the asteroid was discovered in March 2011 by NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies. It's currently traveling at a speed of around 18,700 miles per hour. 2011 ES4 hasn't been observed since, but it's predicted that it will pass within one lunar distance of Earth in September 2020. This means it will likely be within the distance between the Earth and the Moon. In the event of the asteroid entering our atmosphere, the probable outcome is expected to be a large explosion in the sky, with the asteroid combusting and breaking up before it hits the ground. 2011 ES4 has been categorised as an Apollo asteroid. Typical of other Apollo asteroids, it has a very wide orbit around the Sun and Earth, and occasionally crosses paths with the Earth as it orbits the Sun. According to experts, there's no risk of an impact in 2020, because the asteroid's line of variation doesn't pass through where Earth will be. However, that's not to say that it will never make contact with the Earth. Calculations predict there's a 1 in 71,000 chance of the asteroid impacting Earth on the 2nd of September 2055. If this asteroid combusts on reaching our atmosphere, there could be injuries such as those seen after the asteroid explosion in Russia in 2013. The 2020 MP1 asteroid. 2020 MP1 was discovered by the Atlas project on the 21st of June 2020. NASA trackers confirmed that the 2020 MP1 narrowly avoided us on June 25th, 2020, having come nearer to Earth than the Moon. This asteroid was predicted to be traveling at 17,500 miles per hour and was estimated to be around 17 to 39 meters in size. Thankfully, it kept its distance from Earth. At its nearest point to Earth, 2020 MP1 was still around 60,000 kilometers from us. Pictures taken show the 2020 MP1 asteroid looking like a bright and sharp dot of light in the center of the image. 2020 MP1 is one of the several other near-Earth objects passed in June 2020. Ultimately, our recent encounter with 2020 MP1 was safe. However, NASA believes there's a 1 in 300,000 chance every year that a space rock, which would cause localised damage, will hit. This prospect isn't impossible, and has the potential to cause untold devastation to Earth. The 2020 MK3 asteroid The next rock we'll discuss is the 2020 MK3 asteroid, which had a recent close encounter with Earth. 
According to the Centre of Near-Earth Object Studies, the 2020 MK3 asteroid has an estimated diameter of approximately 135 feet. It's believed to be travelling across space at the speed of around 90,000 miles per hour. NASA has been studying it and compared it to another asteroid named the 2019 AK3, as both follow orbits that extend beyond that of Earth. Both are believed to intersect with Earth's orbit as they finish their rotation around the Sun. However, there are key differences between the two. The two space rocks differ in their orbital axis, with the 2019 AC3 having a wider axis and the 2020 MK3 having a smaller axis than that of Earth. 2020 MK3 is almost double the size and over twice the speed of the former, making the prospect of a collision even more terrifying. Fortunately, however, it's been reported that 2020 MK3 safely soared past the Earth on Wednesday the 1st of July 2020. It was expected that, at the nearest distance, the asteroid would have been about 0.027 astronomical units from the centre of Earth, which is still about a distance of 2.5 million miles away. It's been reported that after these two relatively close calls, NASA has formed a partnership with the United States Space Force in order to work together to gather greater intelligence and, if necessary, defend the Earth against asteroids that pose a threat. Four Vesta Four Vesta is one of the largest objects in the asteroid belt and is often described as a protoplanet. The fact that Four Vesta is almost spherical means that it narrowly avoids classification of a dwarf planet. Unlike the majority of known asteroids, Vesta is separated into crust, mantle, and core. Named after the Roman goddess of the hearth and household, Four Vesta is perhaps the second largest asteroid after the dwarf planet Ceres. Wider than England, Four Vesta is estimated to have a surface area that's about the same size as Pakistan. It's also the brightest asteroid that can be seen from Earth, and was discovered in 1802. Sometimes, Four Vesta can be seen by the naked eye. If Four Vesta were to encounter contact with the Earth, it would cause devastation on an unimaginable scale. If the impact which led to the extinction of dinosaurs is anything to go by, a direct hit from Four Vesta would cause mass fires, debris and smoke which would most likely block out the sun, lowering temperatures to a point that would kill off the majority of Earth species. The impact would also cause earthquakes and enormous tsunamis, followed by volcanic regions forming around the impact zone. The chaos would take years to settle, and widespread extinction of Earth species would be an inevitability. The impact could easily destroy huge mountain ranges such as the Himalayas, let alone cities such as New York and London. Four Vesta is truly massive, accounting for almost 9% of the total mass of all asteroids. It's 50 times wider than the asteroid that caused dinosaurs to become extinct. Therefore, the destruction it would cause is truly outside of our imagination. Even an asteroid as small as the size of a house hurtling towards Earth at 30,000 miles per hour would cause damage comparable to the 20 kiloton bomb that destroyed Hiroshima. Thankfully, scientists have calculated that a direct hit from Four Vesta is extremely unlikely. Currently, Four Vesta is orbiting the Sun at a distance of 170.5 million kilometres from Earth. It will be visible in the sky until around July 16th of 2020. It will appear as a faint yellow dot in the night sky. Fortunately, a collision with an asteroid large enough to cause significant damage to Earth is unlikely. However, it's not merely the work of science fiction, as it's certainly not impossible. Large, unknown asteroids could still be out there coming towards our planet. Indeed, in his last book published in 2018, Stephen Hawking said he believed an asteroid collision to be the biggest threat to the planet. NASA has stated that it's important they scan the skies for these near-Earth objects. Detecting a celestial body early on is essential to understand what its behaviour is like. For example, NASA announced back in 2015 that more than 1,500 previously unknown near-objects were discovered each year, with each of these celestial bodies being larger than 460 feet or 140 metres in diameter. It may not sound particularly big, but an asteroid of this size could easily wipe out a town or city. 
tracking these objects isn't an easy task. NASA officials said that as of 2019, over 19,000 of these objects had been detected, further saying they add around 30 new Earth objects every week. Although researchers and scientists are working hard to track these celestial bodies, officials said that ground tracking systems do have limitations, and that there's many near-Earth objects out there that haven't been discovered yet. So what do you make of these asteroids we've spoken about today? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.